Hey guys, so welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. So, how are you guys doing? I woke up and my throat hurts worse today. And it's like traveling in my chest, so it's like a chest cold situation has formed. That's a thing. So, I want to talk about concealer real quick. <laughs> I know there's people on my channel who don't do makeup, which I totally understand. But I just want to give, you know, my little review for people who do like makeup on my channel, who watch me. The first concealer I've ever tried is Benefit Cakeless Concealer. It wasn't that great. So, I was like, okay, I want to try something different. And I love e.l.f. Cheap, vegan, great. I'm not vegan, but still great. So I decided, okay, let's go cheaper route, get e.l.f. I got Fair Beige. It is the most amazing thing ever. Honestly, you guys need to try this. Again, it's e.l.f. Fair Beige, okay? One more thing. My face has been super dry lately. I've been trying new makeup products. I'm trying to figure out what was causing the super dryness. My skin is naturally dry, but I purposely got um, Becca foundation because I went to Sephora, they tested my face, and this makes my face dewy. So all of a sudden I'm like, why is my face dry? I'll tell you why. It's the Becca hydrating. Um... Hi guys. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. So the reason why my face was getting dry is from the, um, it's Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder by Becca. Like, I love Becca, great, like, her foundation has changed my life, but this made me so dry, and the situation is, when you put it on your face, it feels super cold, so I purposely loved using it just because of how it felt on my face. <laughs> I know that's, like, weird, but whatever. So I have to get rid of that, give that to someone who needs it and loves it. Because I'm over it. Today is actually my doctor's appointment. Hello. So this is just a primary care doctor. It's not like a weight loss doctor. It's not like any sort of doctor. It's just straight up doctor. I um, need like a checkup. And plus when I went to the ER, I want to do um, a follow up on that. Plus I have a cold. I want to just talk to him about those type of those type of deals. Oh, I was going to say those type of steals. Like what? So I made a comment in one of my last videos where I said, I hope this doctor takes me more seriously than the last one. So I kind of want to clarify what I meant by that. My previous primary care doctor was this girl that I honestly loved because she would sing and she was just fun and uppity. Like for every holiday, she would like dress super freaking extra and like, cute like I went one time um around Christmas and she was dressed like as an elf like she had like a great personality someone like you literally wanted to hang out with and like be best friends with but I remember I told you guys this story before I did all my labs um I came back and she told me that my blood pressure is just the tiniest bit elevated and that I'm healthy I'm a healthy girl other than that I remember sharing that with you guys and I was kind of like tooting my own horn, like, haha, like over 500 pounds, but I'm healthy according to my doctor. That is what I was talking about because honestly, like after I thought about it and after I saw the comments and like what people were messaging me, they were like, you're not healthy. I don't know what your doctor's talking about. And like, that's the truth. So I want to, I'm, I want to see a doctor who is like, you're not healthy. This is like truly what's going on with you. Like, to sit there and tell someone who's over 500 pounds that they're healthy, like, that's a little weird to me. So, that is what I meant by that. I didn't mean, like, no disrespect. And I know I call, you know, doctors and psychiatrists. I say that girl. I say that guy. Like, I don't want to give out names. And that's just the, the type of way that I talk. I never mean disrespect whatsoever. Because, like, we need doctors. We need psychiatrists. And... Like, I look up to these people, and it's just honestly the way I talk. You guys know that I talk like a crazy person half the time. So, I just kind of wanted to clarify that. Um, I have to leave for my appointment in a good, like, 20 minutes. So, I'm going to finish getting ready. I hope you guys are having a great day. Peace out. Please 
Don't mind my scary face. I don't <laughs> uh, so I'm in the Walmart parking lot. Um, Becky had to go get some pads because it's her moment. Um, I didn't go in there because you guys know me and Walmart. I'm just like, sis don't need to be spending money right now. So an update on my doctor's appointment. So this was a new doctor and I loved him. He was very like kind and professional. So I took some tests. They're going to call me if something's like off or wrong. My blood pressure was perfect, which made me hallelujah. Like I was like, hallelujah, hallelujah, holla, holla. That just made me really happy. Like it really did. Um, about my cold, he said, just keep taking Dayquil because it'll definitely help because it's just like a typical viral thing. He called it like a viral virus or something. <laughs> I don't know. He said it's nothing to like worry about so i was like okay i'll just keep taking day cool um so yeah it just went really well and i was scared of going i get hardcore anxiety doing things like this and i've recently wanted to do things that scare me you know like do something that scares you and then once you're done with that like you'll feel so relieved like i feel so relieved right now i am scared for my tests to be ran or whatever um I feel like I will get a call back I don't want to like go into like grave detail but like I just am you know kind of nervous about that but you guys I did it round of applause for me so I have a mini story time and I know no one's gonna believe us but that's okay like you don't have to so one night I don't even remember where we were coming home from. Maybe a friend's house, maybe like a family member's house. We were coming home from something. And there's this like really fancy dancy like little area on the way home where it's like nothing but like huge houses and they're building more there. So I always just like love looking at the houses and like well, maybe one day I can have one like that. It was nighttime. We were just going, doing our, doing our do. And we saw like a UFO. I know when I say UFO, people think of aliens, but what does UFO really stand for? You know what I'm saying? We saw something in the sky that just didn't look normal. Like it was like this big light, but it had like other lights with it. And the weirdest part of it all is it wasn't moving. It was just hovering. And I know you guys are going to be like, oh God, like you guys are rolling your eyes at me. Now, every single time we go past that part where we saw the UFO, cell phone service completely shuts off completely shuts off and to me it's just like the weirdest thing because it never used to happen until we saw that like thing in the sky just like hovering over the houses i am little story time we just went past there so i was just like it is so weird like does anyone have an explanation um, i mean maybe it's like a satellite situation but that doesn't even make sense either i don't know like, some things are so weird. I just don't get it. But, yeah. I don't know why I felt like I had to share that. I just thought it was, like, interesting, I guess. So, I'm going into TJ Maxx. Gonna look around. Y'all. Look at those earrings. <laughs> oh, is that a bracelet? That's pretty. Are these earrings? What in God's creation? Those are actually really cute. Oh my God. Christmas wreath. It smells good. Like a paparazzi. Paparazzi. What the heck? What is that? Ooh, 
そうですTo Pillow Mountain. I'll be your tour guide. Here we have Dog Pillow. Here we have Snow Pillow. Do you see that? Yeah. Here we have I found the one pillow. Here we have Mary Pillow. The tour is now complete. Are those dog toys? Yeah. looks at me. Roar some. Where are you going? Circles. Y'all be proud. I didn't buy a single thing. Saving that money. Like, I saw so many things I wanted, but I was like, <sighs> I'll be here again. All I'm doing is shopping, shopping, shopping. Shopping, shopping, shopping. Spending money, money, money. I have the money, but I need to start being strict with myself. Trust me, I read your comments. You guys, I like to tell you that Twinkie is down 1.4 pounds. Oh, I've been trying to give her less and not so much food no table food human food i love you oh my god so ooh, it's dark i'm sorry you guys um some of our friends just left had so much fun but usually um i'll give twinkie like if i was like having chicken i'd give her like a small piece like it was nothing like super crazy i wouldn't give her any like junk or whatever but it definitely 
made her gain a little bit of weight. So I've been doing that. Um, I've been feeding, feeding her like the perfect amount of food. She's been getting a little more exercise, so I'm so proud. She lost 1.4. I'm like proud of that because for a dog, that's actually kind of a lot. So I just wanted to give a little update. I did get a call, call back from the doctor and I have to go back on antibiotics. I'm gonna go and get them tomorrow. Um, I'm just not very happy about it, but it's kind of like, it is what it is. <laughs> like, nothing I can really do about it, but I have to take two antibiotics a day, um, one at night, one in the morning, and I have to do it for seven days. So I'll be taking 14 antibiotics, Let's just hope the best for me because I'm tired of it. I'm tired. So I'm sure you guys remember in the beginning of my vlog, the lipstick I was wearing. Hey guys, so welcome to Vlogmas day five. So the story is, I should have mentioned it then. I know it didn't look good. Okay, the lipstick, beautiful, love the color. It did not go with this dress, I know. I was just randomly thinking about it and like then I was like oh my god I should have worn a nude actually with this that would have looked so much better things the things the things I wish I would have done earlier in the day now that's my time like what it is time for comment of the day your makeup looks really nice thank you I appreciate that Erica I've definitely been trying to do my makeup every day and get ready for the day every day because it just it makes me feel more productive Becky needs to hook our girl up with cooking lessons for Christmas. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Um, it's so funny that people judge me so harshly on my food, but yet they've never tasted it. Like, ugh, my food is good. I wish, like, I could cook for you guys. And I know a lot of you are going to be like, no, don't do it. Ew, no. Like, I don't know. It doesn't even matter. Like, some people suck at cooking, some people don't. Like, it is what it is. Everyone has different taste buds. You are losing weight. I can definitely tell. Good job. Keep up the work. Thank you, Sean. And I am losing weight. It feels good when people can actually notice. In editing this video, I noticed. <laughs> I did notice, and it made me really happy. I was like, wow, I think I can kind of tell now. Just an FYI, you're not supposed to take NyQuil slash DayQuil while on a mood stabilizer. That's not true. I actually saw a doctor today and I told him I was doing NyQuil and DayQuil and he said that was totally fine and he knows that I am on a mood stabilizer. Queen of deleting comments. Hands down, I am not deleting comments. There has been rumors of this for a very long time. I do not go in and delete comments. What people say, people can say. Like, I really don't care. And that's why I get a lot of comments because I'm not deleting them. How do you feel about the Destiny and Dana breakup? Um, they haven't broken up that I know of. So anyways, that's the last comment of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.